Okay, so what we have here, what we got, not including mortgage, but does include business, $134,794 at the time of the statements of debt owed, but minus the uh, shared business cards, $65,903. Total money monthly payments, $5,384, not including business, $3,419. Remember, $60,000 is what you pay yourself. Is that after taxes or before taxes? Before. Yikes. So you're probably bringing in like four thousand two hundred on a monthly right. basis, yep. but three thousand four hundred nineteen are minimum monthly payments. Mm. So death now one thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars was spent on food, not grocery, going out stuff like that. Uh, different bills two thousand bucks subscriptions two hundred sixty dollars definitely need to end those we just can't do it interest. And fees, $3,000 in a month. 3000 death dollars of interest. Yeah, it sucks. Your minimum monthly payments plus interest for everything across, and that's 8390 bucks. Yeah. Crazy. It gets. I mean, start throwing the vehicles in too. That it, I mean, all that's in the business, but that's where the, the bills are just astronomical. So some of these numbers are small in comparison. So it makes it hard to really feel like 150 bucks is a dent or whatever. Yeah, it just all adds up. It just all adds up. How? how what are the what's the vehicle debt on the business? We have about 20 vehicles in the fleet. And um, why do the security people? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, never mind. The security patrols yeah. and stuff. And so, I mean, I, I don't even know. I'd have to look at our books to, have to a see. Yes. Um, over two hundred thousand in vehicles. <laughs> at probably not the most stellar interest rates at all times. Yeah, especially my credit's jacked right now with all this balance on my credit, and it's making it more difficult and expensive to purchase vehicles. Absolutely. And so uh, that's also where I'm hesitant to close any credit card accounts right now just because I feel like it's already hard enough uh, as we need more vehicles. This is why non-great leverage going into business is difficult because yes. you need to make more purchases to continue. Yeah. But since you're not cash flowing because of all the insanity that is the debt before, and of course, you need to pay off your own personal debt, but again, we can't pay ourselves more because of all the debt insanity that was used before.